So hi, uh, my name is Barbara Adler and uh, I did a workshop this morning with a bunch of writers and I had the pleasure of working with these folks and we had a really good time. Okay, so it was at 9.30 in the morning, which right off the top should have really stunk, but it didn't. So uh, we did some exercises and we picked together uh, a representative to show what we did, kind of like we're reporting to you, to the, the board members of the festival. We worked hard, we, we, we got it done, and we have something to show for it. So uh, the, the first exercise we did was a, a hyperbole exercise where the, the, ex the idea was just to, to lie our faces off in a despicable way and, and um, exaggerate a lot and one person excelled. <laughs> Above the others at, at this exercise of flying. Um, Ken Dow from Owen Sound had the most hyperbolic hyperbole, and we're going to hear it tonight, and it's going to destroy your faces. Your, your, your eyes will be on the ground exploding into hyperbole, right? Um, please give it up for Ken Dowd. Wow. Okay, so the, 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 we were handed a sentence that we had to run with, and so I'm going to give that as the title, and I think you'll know what to do, and if you do it really loud, that would help me kind of get rolling. I am so strong. <laughs> Thank you. I am so strong, Chuck Norris ducks into short, shop doorways when he hears my name. I am so strong that I pull a Hummer behind my tank. I am so strong that I stand in as a tunnel support during overpass construction. I'm so strong, there is a movement to rename both the Mackenzie and the St. Lawrence Rivers after me. I once ran nonstop across Canada carrying a refrigerator filled with heavy cream and dark beer to raise money for the week. I was 10. I played an exhibition match against a football match against the Edmonton Eskimos and won. Actually, they called the match at halftime because the score was so lopsided, at which point I put all 32 cheerleaders from both teams on my shoulders and sang, my heart will go on across seven octaves without a microphone. I blew out every flare stack north of Grand Prairie. I have never tried chocolate. I've been run over by vehicles from every major car manufacturer on the planet never spilling my coffee or wrinkling my perfectly ironed white shirt. I'm so strong I can compose epic poems in languages I do not know. Poems that reduce millions of native speakers into sobbing wretches. I once used a woolly mammoth in a glacier frozen as ice in my drink. And I consider the Grand Canyon to be a, a nice bit of trenching. <laughs> 